Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be splitting a one column data set with addresses in based on a delimiter, which is a comma. But I'm going to show you how to do this dynamically. So if you add another field there, like let's say South, South Africa, it would automatically add that to your data set. Well, if you do it with the UI, it doesn't really understand that. It basically hard codes it with the UI. I'm gonna show you the dynamic way of doing it. So, enough talking, let me show you how to do it. All right, so select your data set, go to data and say from table or range, this pulls it into Power Query. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is, let's call this UI. I'm gonna show you how to split with the UI. You just click there, you go to home, you go to home, you go to split column by delimiter, and you set a delimiter is for each occurrence of the comma, say okay. And that looks all right, that looks pretty great. But then you can see it kind of hard codes address one, two, and three. Because of that, if you bring it back, see it only has the three columns. Now if you add something here, let's say XXX, and you go back to the UI and you refresh, it doesn't bring that into consideration. Okay, so. Let's go back to our solution. Back to Power Query, let's copy this one, duplicate. Let's quickly take all of that out. So I'm gonna show you how to do it dynamically. So first thing we are gonna use, let's quickly add a new column. And in this new column, let's just call it text. I'm gonna say text split. And I'm gonna split the address by a comma. Cool, so okay. So now this gives you a list. It kind of shows you, it splits your, your address field into all of its components in a list. You see that there's the last one with the XXX. Pretty cool. That's a good place to start. So the next thing we're going to do there is I'm going to use table from rows, right? And I'm going to say, yeah, I'll give that as an input to table from rows. And if I press enter, it's going to give me an error because it wants a list. But what you can do is you can just give, convert that to a list like that. And there you go. All right, and all you do is you say, bring back custom, yes. And then you can say table combine. And then that should give you answer. There we go. So dynamically added that XXX there understanding. So that's exactly the solution we're gonna use. So we're gonna use this format over here to do that. So just notice the column headers are generic column. I wanna make this address one, two, three, and four. All right, so we're gonna take advantage of this table from rows function you can see that right there, you can see that we have the column names, columns as any. So we can basically feed it a list of column names. I don't want to do that dynamically. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start a new, let's rename this F2. Let's call this split no headers. Okay. I'm going to add a new step. Let's just go back to source. Okay. In order to do the dynamic headers, I need to understand how many, how many columns we're going to create. So I need to give them, I need to count the number of columns. So what I can do is I can say add column, but in there I can simply say text position of address. And I'm looking for the position of the comma in the address. Cool. And it's going to tell me, ah, the first comma appears 14 characters in, 19 characters in. This is useless to me, all right? So I can just go back to the formula and just say occurrence all and enter it out. Now you can see it gives me a list. So what it does now, if you look at this list, it gives you a list of all the positions where a comma is found, right? So now that's pretty cool because if I count the number of commas and I add one, I know how many columns I'm going to create. So I can say list, because it's a list, count the number of rows in the list. Yes. Cool. So I know, ah, cool. I got two commas, two commas, three commas. But what I want to do is I want to add one because the amount of columns would be plus one, right? So now, ah, that's pretty cool. Three columns. This one will have four columns. Excellent. That's exactly what we want. So now in order to create um, let's say address one, two, three, four, five. What I need to do is I need to create a list with one, two, three for each one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new list. Say one, starting from one, I have a list starting from one, up until double point there, up until three, 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 four, four. And that's basically that. And I can just end my list over there and close it up. And now what you have is you have a list. So one, two, three. So basically representing column one, two, three, and this would be column one, two, three, and four. 
Pretty cool. So now what I want to do with these lists, I want to transform them and add, append address one, address two to that. So that's quite easy. What we do is we want to take list transform because we want to transform a list and I give it this input. And I want to say for each item in the list, right? So now I'm saying like, give it each of these one, two, three, four, but for each item in this list, take the, the keyword address underscore and say, and text from right underscore that basically refers to each count in the list right and i just need to close it out like that and now you can see there's address one two and three one two. this is what we're going to use for the header names right there we go there's four addresses in there or four column headers in there and this is quite simple all we need to do is we now need to take our split no headers see this function over there up until there so if you see that is going to give us our column names. We just go like this. Take that. Go to there, right? And say, paste it in there. And there you have your table. Look at that. All we need to do now is say, I just want to return the custom column, which there is. And now I say, table combine, wrap it all up. And there you go. It's dynamic. I'm quickly going to bring it back. Let's quickly test it. I'm just going to color this one green. Let's test it. Let's say we add in here, we add a right and we refresh this one. There you go. Brilliant. So that would give you an idea how you can get creative with understanding how lists work in Power Query to solve a thing like dynamic splitting in Power Query. Well, BA Sensei signing out.